Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to use our Grasshopper tool. First, you need to download this tool, but before you download it, you get you have to go to Food Rhino and download the T T Toolbox tool. That one, you can go there and the tt toolbox 1.9 this is uh the one we need uh you can download this for free from here or you can find it uh attached with our uh software if you need to download it from here it's okay and if you need to download from our uh with our uh software or without Grasshopper tool, you can do both things. Um, all right. After that, we need to go to the Grasshopper and make sure that the TT toolbox is here, and that's the shape of the TT toolbox. And after that, I go to File, Open Document. And I'm going to pick the hard generator. And here we go. It's going to be like that. We need to make sure that the this is false, that the run thing is false. We need uh we don't need it to, to run right now. And I go to um I go to here the file path and click a right a right click on it and select one existing file. The one existing file is going to be um the Excel sheet and hit OK, open. And after that, I go to the run command and double click on it to make sure it's uh true. And here we go. It's it's true right now. I I have to go to um. The Rhino and make sure that the preview is on. Um, sometimes it's going to be on. Don't draw any preview ge a geometry. So I need to draw a preview geometry here and minimize that. And here we go. Here this there is the our hull generator. Uh, this good to the Excel sheet to, to understand how how we should prepare it. First, we need to create three sheets, the body plan, and it has to be named like that. You have to name it body, all in capital letters, body plan. All right. And the bow and stern are same bow, to be in capital letters, bow, and also stern the same. Um, here we should make sure that the station is an above and the water, uh, the water line on the left side. The water line is going to like you have to type anything you need, like water line, or even you can just write water line or whatever you need. Just uh, you have to hit space and enter the number of, uh, or the distance of this water line. Like it's about two meters or 2.5 meter. So it's going to be like that. Here, the spacing between the water lines is one meter. So here is the baseline. And uh, after that, we have one meters, uh, one meter be between uh, the water line and the other. So, um, I need that to be the same, so I'm going to hit waterline, um, space, zero, enter, waterline, space, um, one meter. So here I can uh, drag it to um, the, the number of water lines we need. Uh, here that's starts from zero and enter at eight meters so that my draft or my depth is going to be eight meters 
after that we need to to know the stations we need to hit here the stations and the spacing or the longitudinal distance from um the zero point so here we go to the after perpendicular because we always start uh, the after perpendicular and ends with the forward perpendicular so um here is the 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 spacing between the station and the other so here is going to be 2.5 and then zero and uh, after zero is going to be at 2.5 and 5 so that's the origin point here that's our uh, my origin point and uh, the distance increase so here we're going uh, here uh, we can find out the spacing between <coughs> uh, the station and the other is 2.5 so if we start from zero, we have to add 2.5 because the the next station for the next station and then add 2.5 to the 2.5. So it's going to be station five. And it's the same. So if one meter spacing between uh, the station and the other, so I'm going to hit station or whatever you need. You can type station or just station and hit space. That's the most important thing you need to hit space and then um, put the number or the longitudinal distance of this station so this station is going to be at the euros that's at the origin all right and the other station is going to be um maybe it's going to be um one meter so we can always drag and and have them uh, and after that, I can copy these and transpose it. So I have the station zero and one and two. So the most important thing, the most important thing, we have to type the station or whatever you, text you need to type and then hit space and then the number after that. All right. Uh, and then here that's the the empty uh, empty cell and here is the longitudinal distance and here is the the draft all right and here are the the offset table uh the da uh, data then uh to the next sheet is going to be bow or stern it doesn't matter but uh like we 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 started with the body plan and then with a bow, here is the water line and the longitudinal. So here is uh, the bow and the stern always in uh, 2D, not uh, 3D. So it has X, uh, it always has X, the longitudinal distance, and, o and also the um, Z just has X and Z. It doesn't have Y because it's a 2D. Uh, so here uh, the water lines we just have to type the water lines here zero one two three four and that's um uh the 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 distance between the water lines so what if uh the 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 distance between the the two water lines is two so i'm going to hit zero start with zero and then two then four and I will increase it with two meter spacing. Here is just one meter spacing, so that's why I'm adding this like that. But it's not just numbers. No, it's it's not just numbers. And if you if you need that to to make it easier for you, I can just type zero and then one. All right, and drag it. And let's find. Um, if our spacing is five, let's say five, I'm going to copy that. Go to paste a special. Uh, no, I have to select these. Go to paste a special. All right, and hit multiply and check multiply and press OK. So we can just delete these and put these instead of these. If my uh, waterline spacing. Uh, is five meters not one meter instead of one meter so uh that's 
easier easier for us and the CERN is the same thing but if you find out that the CERN has negative uh, values because the ne these negative values before the origin point so that's why it has these negative values if you need to download the tool i'm going to leave download link in the, in the description so uh, let's go back here this is our uh, hull you can just have it i hope this tool is useful for all of you and see you next time